Now, away from that, tonight the Bipartisan Talks Committee has made great stride in the push to begin the talks that have stalled for over three weeks. Since the team was constituted, now the committee, which held a meeting at the BOMA of Kenya today, agreed, among other issues, on the framework agreement with the Kenya Kwanzaa proposing more issues of discussion on the table, including the creation of the Office of the Leader of Official Opposition. As KTN's political affairs reporter Emmanuel Tor details, the parliamentary or extra parliamentary question still remains unanswered at thorny issues. Both the government and the opposing side, the opposition side, sticks to its gun with different positions. After a seven-hour closed-door meeting that brought together members of the parliamentary bipartisan committee from both sides of the political divide at the Bombers of Kenya, the team emerged with some white smoke. The team mandated to broker a truce between the Azimio Lomoja One Kenya coalition and the Kenya Kwanzaa side declared it had cleared several contentious issues, including the terms of reference for the committee. The framework agreement is what defines our, uh, the nature of our constitution and our work. So it's just about the most important thing we would have to do. The committee has also set strict timelines. We in Azimio had given a time frame of 30 days. Our colleagues in Kenya Kwanzaa had given a time frame of 90 days. We have agreed to constrain that time to 60 days. But within those 60 days, we have agreed that the more urgent issues that need to be dealt with will have been dealt with within 30 days. The Azimio side has listed five core issues, including electoral reforms and entrenching party discipline among its top issues, while Kenya Kwanzaa listed a total of seven issues, including the creation of the office of the leader of the official opposition and the others as raised by President William Ruto in his memorandum to Parliament last year. Reconstitution of the IEBC Commissioner Selection Panel to the two-thirds general rule the entrenchment of the National Government Constituency Development Fund, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, and the Senate Oversight Funds in the Constitution. Three, the creation of the office of the leader of the official opposition. Cost of living. Two, audit of the 2022 presidential elections results. Three, restructuring and reconstitution of the independent electoral and boundaries commission IBC and related matters however with a nod several sticky issues remain among them whether or not to hold the talks in or outside parliament or both the first channel is the parliamentary route and if it was the parliamentary route then you'd be right it would be the question of tabling of a motion and all that for the joint committee but the next issue we are exploring, which we'll discuss again tomorrow in detail, is the executive route, where you use an executive order to constitute the team. And I think you are familiar with that previously. The third route is what we call the sui generis route, uh, where we talk of exercise of, of uh, sovereignty under Article 1, where you do not need to be formally constituted, provided there's political good, goodwill. So those three options are the ones we are still examining tomorrow. The committee will have another harmonization meeting Thursday to set the stage before the talks begin on substantive issues that could end leading to a referendum to amend the law. Emmanuel Tor, KT News, Nairobi. Well, that's really